first of all, I'd like to say that the uh, North Vietnamese <coughs> are signatories to the Geneva Convention concerning POWs. Unfortunately, uh, they never saw fit to implement the uh, provisions called for uh, in this uh, convention for the treatment of POWs. Treatment varied, of course, from camp to camp, from time to time, and from PW to PW, depending on the circumstances. But in general, from the period 1965 to 1969, late 1969, uh, I think that we can safely and correctly say that the treatment was very bad, was inhumane, of course, was not in accordance with the Geneva Convention. The Vietnamese used everything to get what they wanted. They used the physical force, beatings, drugs, the use of ropes and other forms of physical coercion. They used the isolation for prolonged periods, particularly with some of the seniors, some of our senior officers, two of them who just yesterday made admiral in the United States Navy, were isolated in solo for over four years. <clears throat> I was in solo, for example, for 42 months. That's a long time to be alone. Perhaps briefly I could tell you what they, what they did to me. On September 9th of 66, upon arrival at Hanoi, they brought me into what we call a quiz. And it was a, roughly six o'clock in the morning, uh, it, I had to go through an open courtyard to this room we call a star chamber. Uh, I was asked information about an aircraft that I knew nothing about. They put me in cuffs behind my back and ropes at the upper part of the arms. And they made my two arms meet behind my back. They left me in this condition for, well, they threw me on the floor and left me in this condition for roughly an hour at which time the man came back and uh, switched from this information to uh, my war crimes. Uh, at this time, the gentleman who called himself the camp commander came in and told me that I must uh, make three statements. One, a confession of crimes. Number two was a statement apologizing to the Vietnamese people. And number three was a letter of commendation of my government. Excuse me, condemnation, sorry. <coughs> at which time I told him I couldn't do this. They now lowered the ropes to my elbows and tied them again as tight as they could and threw me down the ground uh, after putting uh, leg irons on me and a bar that was roughly nine feet long. The room was about 12 by 12. They blindfolded me and gagged me, tied a loose rope around my neck to, my, to the uh, leg iron. I stayed in this position roughly nine hours. The only time they came in, they tightened the ropes. Believe me, they can tighten the ropes. When I was done with this, they asked me for this confession. I again said no. They took the stuff off after a mild beating, which uh, meant, amounted to nothing, uh, at which time I went into uh, complete loss of my arms and hands. December 25th of uh, that year, I was able to finally get enough control of my, my hands and arms to eat a piece of turkey by placing it on my hand. Uh, May of the next year, I was finally able to shave. Uh, I had a roommate who had to do everything for me. Uh, this is roughly an example uh, of what was going on. To me, the ropes were the worst. 